Good afternoon, Lancaster School. Yes, hello. Hello, how can I help? Yeah, I was wondering what time should you come and do the inspection tomorrow in your school? Pardon? So what time should you come and do the inspection tomorrow in your school? You know, should we keep, come at 9 o'clock or should we keep it at 10.30? I, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you did. What inspection? Sorry. So you're, we're part of Tribal in Ofsted. You know, um, you know, we have inspection tomorrow in your school at around um, 9.30. But I was, I was trying to ask if is, is it 10 o'clock or is it 9.30, what time should we come? Which one is more convenient to feel school? I, so do you need to speak? Who am I speaking to, please? And my name is Adrian Day. I'm the head of PA. Help Can yeah. I take your name? My name is Uncle Rafu. You know, I'm part of Ofsted in Tribal. So are you, is your school now aware about the inspection tomorrow morning? Or are you, are you aware about it? Or are you not aware about it? Do you mean the right, are you after the right school in Milton Keynes? Radcliffe, Radcliffe School in Milton Keynes. Hold on, let me just take your name down. What did you say your name was? My name's Mrs. Day. Mrs. But Day. Who is, it you, who is it that you need to speak to? And you are the head PA of the school. Yes. And you are now aware about the inspection tomorrow morning. I don't know anything about an inspection tomorrow morning. Okay, that's it. Okay, you're now fired now. You don't work in that office anymore. I want you to pack your bags and leave the office now, please. I'm sorry, you want to speak to? I say you don't work in that school anymore, you're now fired now. Pack your bags and leave the office, please. I, I'm at the Radcliffe School in Milton Keynes, is that who you need to speak to? I know what school I'm speaking to. We have been liaising with your school for the past weeks about this inspection coming up. And you're, it's, it's very unprofessional that you are not aware about it. We haven't, we haven't been speaking to you this week. We haven't had a call from Ofsted this week. I'm sorry, we don't know anything about this. Pack your bags and leave um, the office, please. Because the the editor knows about it very well, so pack your bags and leave the office, please. It's a bit of professional that you are the head PA, you are the personal assistant, and you are now yes, aware about you are now aware about the inspection, and your editor is aware about the inspection, but you, you are now aware about it. Pack your bags your and head, leave the you office. You want to tell us about? If you'd like to hold on, I can pass you over to our deputy head. I know I can. Want, the if I want to contact the deputy head myself, I can do that very well by myself because I already have the deputy head, you know, direct line. But as for you, you're the personal assistant. I'm telling you, you don't work in that school anymore. I'm waiting for you to pack your bags and leave the office immediately. Would you like me to pass you to the deputy head and you can explain it to her? Excuse me, do you know, have you, did you hear what I just said to you? You want me to pack my bags and leave the office? Yes, I'll pass you to the deputy head and you can explain that to her. Yeah, I'm going to do that, but I'm telling, I'm saying I'm waiting for you to pack your bags Hello? and leave the office, please. Hello? Hello, my name's Rosie Lee. I'm the deputy head teacher of the Rotary School. Yes. Can I help with something? The person I was speaking to earlier on, who is that? Has she packed the bags yet? Um, you're speaking to Rosie Lee, the deputy head of the Rotary School. If I can help. I can't hear you very well. It sounds like, like you're distance from the phone. Or you're putting me on speaker or something. Can you, I can't hear you very well. The line is not clear. Okay, I'll, I'll speak now. My name's Rosie Lee. I'm the deputy head teacher of the Rotary School. How can we help you? No, I'm saying that you are putting me on speaker. I can, you cannot, I cannot, you can hear a lot of echoing, echoing in the on the phone. It's not allowing me to hear you properly yeah. because you're on speaker. That's that happens when you put somebody on speaker. So yes. If, can you can you continue? Because I can hear you okay. I know, but me, I cannot hear you very well. I can. I, your voice is very is echoing, very is echoing. I'm going to keep on asking to repeat yourself. So you, you take me off, take me off speaker. So I can hear you very well. Is that any better? That's better. Okay. I'm, I was talking to someone before. Has she left the office now? She packed her bags and left the office. She hasn't packed her bags and left the office. Can you just explain what it is you're requiring? I'm, why is she still there in the office? I've said that she doesn't work in that office anymore. She doesn't work in that school anymore. She has to pack her bags now and leave the office now. Excuse me, I'm, I'm not clear what it is you're acquiring and what your role is. I've already told you simple. I've already told you. Who am I speaking to, please? You're speaking to the deputy head of the Rotary School. You're the deputy head? Yes. Okay, you two are fired. Pack your bags and leave the office, please. So you're requiring me to... My bags and I'm leave the I'm telling you a simple instruction. I say pack your bags and leave the office. You don't work in that school anymore. You're not deputy. We're going to get a new deputy head for the f for the school. We're going to get a new deputy head because we are not impressed at all. 
because I can be have inspection in your school. There's inspection in your school tomorrow, and your assistant is telling me that she's not aware about it. And you, yeah, 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 even, yeah, even supporting her, telling me that I, can, I, have the, I haven't got the right to fire her as if she's the one that is paying her own wages by herself. As if you're the one that is paying your own wages. Listen, pack your bags and leave the office, please. I'm sorry, I, 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 don't understand. I don't understand what the problem has been. There's no Can problem. There's no problem at all. I'm giving you simple instruction. I'm saying both of you should pack your bags and leave the office. You don't work in that school anymore. You can't find another job somewhere else. If you continue to argue with me, I will make sure you don't work in any school in the area again. Do you want that? I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm just asking you yes. to clarify why it is you require me to pack my bags and leave the school. I've, I didn't require you in the first place. I told your assistants to pack her bags and leave the office. And you are telling me that no, she's not going to pack her bags. She's going to remain there. So you are, you are making me look stupid. As if, as if she's the one that I, that I employed herself to work in that school. As if you, you are the one that employed yourself to work in that school. Because all of us, work, we work with the employers. All the employers for the school work with all the employers. We also work with Hofstede as well. And I'm giving you simple instruction to pack your bags and leave the office. You are arguing with me and telling me that uh, I'm stupid. Clearly, what's your name? What's your role? Excuse me, I cannot hear what you just said because you put me on speaker again. So if you take me off speaker, I'll be able to hear what you say properly. Because right now I cannot hear what you are saying. You are very, you are echoing. I don't know what you, I don't know why you're putting me on speaker. I don't know. What you, I'm not putting your own call on speaker because I respect your privacy. I respect my conversation. I don't want to put you on speaker without your permission. But I don't know why you're choosing to do that. Okay. Um, what I'll do then is I'll ring you back. Okay. No, I can the speaker's gone off now. That's better. I can so, hear you properly. I don't know why you're putting me okay, on speaker in the first place. Right. I don't know why okay. you're doing that. Okay. So, what's your name Maybe and what's your role? Okay. Your name and your role. I've given you my name already. Why are you not taking notes of what I was saying? Why are you not writing things down? I've given your assistant uh, my name I've, as well. I've got a pen in my hand and, you know and you, I'd like to know so you, so what, you had is, a, what is your name? So, you had a pen in your hand and you, you didn't even write my name down when I told you my name in the first place. No, you haven't. You haven't told me your name yet. I told you. I told you my name, and believe your ears is not blocked. You have heard what I said to you. I told you my name from the as soon as as soon as I spoke to you and you pick up the phone. I told you my name. You didn't write it down. It's not my fault. No, I haven't written it down. Can you tell me your name? Okay, and spell I can it write now. it down. Right. Have you got a pen and paper now? I've got a pen and paper. Yeah. Yes. It's U N C L E R A F W O L. That's my name, please. Okay. And what's your role? I say, I've. Why are you not listening to me when I'm talking to you? I am listening to you. What's your role? Listen, both of you just pack your bags and leave the office, please. Pack your bags and leave the office, because you don't you don't work in that school anymore, so you have no rights to be ask, talking talking on the phone and you know functioning in that office. Pack your bags and leave the office. Pack your folder as well, and make sure you arrange that office as well. Arrange, don't don't leave it messy, because you're going to employ a new person to go and work there and take your role. So make sure you arrange the office before you leave the office. Arrange it very well. Take your folder and paperwork. All paperwork you've done. Uh, and what exactly is your role? Is your did you put cotton wool in your ears? I say pack your bags and leave the office. You don't work in that school anymore. You are fired. And, and what's your role? I can answer that you you have not cleaned your ears with cotton board. I've given you simple instructions. I, I wasn't the way you're talking to me, as, as yeah. if you cannot hear what I'm saying. Yeah, I can, I, yeah I, I can hear what your instructions to me are. I'm just wondering what your role is and what capacity you have to fire me. What capacity I have? So, what you're what you're, what you're saying to me is that you are the one that employ yourself and you have, I have no right to fire you because you are the one that employ yourself and you are the one that pay yourself where you're working. That's what you're, that's what you're saying to me, right? Is that what you're saying to me? No, I'm, I'm, asking, I'm asking a simple question. What is your role? So is, that what you're, is that what you're saying to me? That you yeah, don't employ yourself and you don't pay yourself because nobody has the right to fire you. Right. Okay, goodbye then. Goodbye. Don't tell me goodbye. School is so what?